Jin Fang, is it okay? Okay, go. He is strong. He is strong. It doesn't help. The college student still does hard work with us. Exactly. Work, work. The girl whoa, whoa, is a good match for my temperament. I wish she was my wife. If I could sleep with them for one night, it's worth dying. Yishuan, wait for me. I'll save up a quarter of a million dowry in no time to marry you. You must be Tin Fong? Yes. Are you? This is a down payment of having a baby. That's a quarter of a million dollars. Down payment of having a baby? Well, just a quarter of a million dowry. Why do they look down on Chin me? Fang, don't be sad. Take care of your body. Hey, hey. Down payment of having a baby. It must be a lie. Look at this picture. It must be fake. There's no such thing as that. Go on. I'm gonna flirt with her. Ah. Hello? Down payment of having a baby? I wanna sign up! Are you sure? You're the rich woman who paid the down payment of having a baby? Are you sure? You're the rich woman who pays for the down payment of having a baby? Yes. This $250,000 is a down payment. $250,000 left. A lump sum after the baby's born. Oh, no. Are the liars all this sincere? Huh? It's... A quarter of a million, really? That's a lot of money. Actually, pretty girl, I was drunk that night. I can't take the money. You! If you don't want it, I would take it. You! You just want to have a baby? I'm in good health. Controllable duration. <laughs> I can do it too. I don't want money. I volunteer to help. You go, go, go. I can, I can. I can do it for free. I can too. Tin Fong, you're the only one who passed the profile review. My contact information is in the cash box. I'll pick you up at 10 o'clock tonight. Hey, hey, beauty, your, your money. Hey, 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 pretty girl, your money. Yi Xuan, what are you doing here? Tin Fang, I tell you no. My brother's getting married soon. My mom said the bride price is going up to half a million. What? Half a million? Yishuan, this 250,000 dowry, I haven't even saved enough. You can't get it out? Okay. Break up. Ah, Yishuan, just give me a little more time. I'll have it Let soon go. enough. Chin Fei, I have a lot to thank you. You were with Yishuan for three years. And she's still a virgin. Last night, I already checked it out for you. Your girlfriend is very moist. I have checked it out last night. Your girlfriend is very moist. Just <laughs> how? Wong Xiuan. Adulterers. You're not up to it. Look at Mr. Cho. Mr. Joe buys a car for me. He gives more than 200,000. Look at you again. You cannot have even a quarter of a million dowry. You are not qualified to accuse me. Juzeha, I think of you as a brother, 
How dare you steal my woman? Yo, look at what you're saying. You're a stinking migrant worker. You don't fit her. I steal your woman? That's a good deed. How could I let Yishuan be with you? <laughs> Tell you the truth, these three days, four times a night. I got my money's worth. Yishuan is in my bed, just like a gentle kitten. Coquettish and gentle. It is beyond words. <laughs> Brute, I'll kill you! Tin Fang, you put him down, Tin Fang! Mr. Zhu! Mr. Chu! Cut him to death! I'm gonna drive you to death. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You dare smash my car! You bastard! Compensate me for the car! Isn't it 250,000? I'll pay for it. You're a poor man! When are you gonna pay me back? I guess it's a bit of a swagger. Very expensive. You cannot afford it. I know a guy who gets a kidney. 100,000 for a kidney. Cut both your kidneys. So you can pay for my car. You just want the money? This is 250000 I'll pay for it. Since ancient times, the true feelings cannot be retained. Only money wins people's hearts. <gasps> Friendship and love are nothing. It's all bullshit. In this case, it's better to find a, ri a rich woman to keep me. Ah! The Dragon Ball meets the Lord. Mr. Wright is here. I'm gonna sell myself. I'm gonna be capped. It's him. My word, natural divinity. It's a genius. You're crazy. You. I think you hide a dragon in nine houses. You are impressive. Here's a precious dragon ball. It'll open your eyes. A fish leaping over the dragon gate. Go up in the world. With a talent like yours, the sky's the limit. It's only 500 today. How's that? You. I don't want your baby anymore. It's 50 here. I see you pale and thin. As skinny as bone. Pick up for a good meal. You! You! What is the situation? I can't see. It's not true! A psychic.
I come. It's not true. A psycho. <laughs> Boy, your Dragon Ball confesses the master. Today, it opens the eyes to all things. You will be the new guardian of Juju. <laughs> oh, what kind of world is this? At night, this beautiful woman has no clothes on. Hello, Sister Suli. Tin Fong, my pipe is blocked. Can you help me out with that? Dredge pipe? Uh, I'm not very good at it. Come on, you're the only one with access to my plumbing. I need you. Uh, okay, just give me a minute. I'll be right there. Be quick. Sister Suli, why aren't you dressed? What are you talking about? This water is coming out of the house. Come on in. Oh, 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 I'll try. I have dredged the pipes. Yo. Look at you. If you don't have something, I go up first. What's the hurry? You haven't eaten food yet. Your noodles are delicious. Cook noodles. Sister, that's what you're talking about down here? Yeah, that's right. Oh, I was thinking of adding a sausage or something. Ah, uh, sister loves to eat sausage. Wait. Here you are. Tin Fong, what's wrong? Tin Fong? The young girl. Congratulations on your awakening. From this day on, you will be the new guardian of Chi Zhu. I teach you the Sutra of Heaven and Earth. Martial arts, Taoism, and medicine include everything. 3,000 actions. Hope you can carry forward the righteous spirit. Protect the people. Someday you will get to the top of Chi Zhu. Tifeng, what's wrong? Tifeng, 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 wake up! Tifeng! Sister? Smells good. Devil, what was wrong with you just now? You scared me. Uh, nothing. Well, probably working at the construction. Uh, I was too tired. Just tired. Get up. Get up. Take your clothes off. I can massage. Give you relaxation. Sister, uh, that's okay. Come on. <laughs> Uh, don't do this. Uh, I, I can't bear it. It's all right. I'll be gentle. You'll be comfortable in a minute. Uh, this is my first time. Uh, my skin is too delicate to take it. It's going to hurt a little at first. It'll be all right in a minute. It's called pain and pleasure. Uh, this is my first time. My skin is too delicate to take it. It's gonna hurt a little at first. It'll be alright in a minute. This is called pain but happiness. Uh, 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 my phone is ringing. Uh, my phone is ringing. Uh, hello? Tin Fong, we said I'd pick you up at 10 o'clock. I'm here. Where are you? Uh, okay, uh, I'm going down now. Sister, uh, I have a rich woman asking me out. Talk about a $100 million project. Uh, uh, come again next time. Eat your pussy. Uh, I'm gonna Chifong. go. Tifong! This fucking kid. Is I really old? Is 
Is this guy kept by a rich woman? Uh, Miss Young, where are we going? Hotel. Ah,、uh, Miss Young, don't you already have a husband? Can he agree? Don't ask me any more questions. This is the marriage agreement. Sign it. Then you're my husband. The term is one year. After giving birth, it will be automatic cancellation. Marriage agreement. That means she's not married. An innocent girl. Why does she be in a rush to have a baby? You need to think it over. If you don't mind, just give me the deposit back. I'll find someone else. Well, I must agree. Uh, no good,、uh, Miss Young. You have a bad omen,、uh, a very bad one. Obscene.、Uh, Miss Young, you misunderstand. I mean, your ophiron is black. The yin enters the body. It doesn't take long for the bad luck to set in. Really, you have to stop. You're nonsense.、Car. You're the one who gets the yin in. Ah, my balloon. You're the one with the black ophiron. Your whole family's black. Crying. Who's that little girl on the ground? Nan, Nan, wake up! This, this is the spirit of a little girl, out of body. Oh, Nan, Nan! <laughs> You gotta wake up, doctor! I'm begging you. You have to save my daughter, doctor. She is dead. Take her to the funeral parlor. Impossible! It's not true, doctor. I beg you. You have to save her, brother. Look at my mom crying so hard. Can you help her? Will you listen to your brother? Yes. Then you go lie on top of you. Nan, Nan, wake up, my Nan, Nan. <laughs> the child can still be saved. I can save her. Really? Can you really save my daughter? You guy, you spread fallacies to deceive people. Hurry away! Step aside, or it's too late. I looked into you. You're just a laborer carrying bricks on a construction site. How could you save people? Don't be ridiculous. I'll explain it to you later. Time really waits for no one. The sky is dark blue and the earth is yellow. Yin yang of nature, come back to life. Heaven and earth, yin yang of nature, come back to life. This is not the time for your swagger. You're still trying to be superstitious. I was this close to saving her life. Tin Fang, you need to stop messing around. What you just did is not to save people. He's clearly pretending to purposely make a mystery of simple things. I've already contacted a lawyer. You need to let the rest of it go, sister. Sorry, it's all my fault. I'm sorry for that. I don't want your apology. I want my daughter back. Give me my daughter back. Hey, no! Drag people together. Mom? No, no, you're awake. You're all right. It's impossible. She has no heartbeat. I can't believe you can come back from the dead. The girl is saved, but she's still hurt. Get to the hospital. Right, right. Hurry, hurry, hurry!
A little girl. The doctor said there were no vital signs. How do you get it back? I looked into you. You were born with divine power. You majored in architecture at university. How do you learn to save people? When I, I was in college, uh, I skipped school often to the medical school next to our school. Uh, just a hobby. Since you don't want to talk, then I won't ask any more questions. Oh, I need you to come home with me. You're going to help me save someone. Uh, uh, who are you saving? Come with me. You'll know when you get there. Grandma, don't worry about it. Tian Cheng invites a famous doctor from Guangdong province comparable to Hua Tuo. He's Gu Xiu coming to treat Grandpa. I'm sure Grandpa will recover. Tian Cheng, can the Master Gu really come? Uh, don't worry, Grandma. The Master is on the way. My word! Your grandpa is so sick! Ru Shui doesn't even show up! The CEO is too busy! Who says I'm not coming? Who says I'm not coming? How's grandma and grandpa? Yang Ru Xue, don't pretend! If you really care about grandpa, you can cure grandpa! Who says Ru Shui couldn't figure it out? Am I not here? You? Who are you? His name is Qin Feng. He is married into and live with a young family. It's my fiancé. He knows medicine. Elder female cousin, don't you a mistake? To cure grandpa, I have invited the famous doctor from Guangdong province comparable to Hua Tuo. You are just looking for some newly married loser just trying to cure grandpa? You're trying to use grandpa to practice. Excuse me, which hospital do you work for? I'm not in the hospital. Brother-in-law, that's a strange outfit you're wearing. Where do you work? I was moving bricks at the construction site. Site brick handling? <laughs> I don't believe the president of Hua Doc Company finds a migrant worker who moves bricks from a construction site as a husband. Don't you say that! Brother-in-law, he's not just any migrant worker. He is a migrant worker who knows something about medicine. Hey, who? Uh, you saved a cat or a dog. How about the farmers? No rules tell that I can't practice medicine. Who said you're messing around? You take your grandfather's life as a trifling matter. Grandma, I saw it with my own eyes. Tin Feng is on his way to save a little girl with no heartbeat. Yo! Master Gu! Uh, Master Gu, thank you for you. We're finally expecting you. We've been waiting for you. Ah, Mr. Chu invites me. I must come. You are here, Master Gu. The elderly life is in your hands. Ah, the so-called doctor is kind. Madam, don't worry. Mr. Yang's disease, I have it all figured out. It's you that have the power to bring the dead back to life? Ah, not from the dead. It just gets out of Tell's hands. <laughs> I spend many years on studying medicine. I just get one title that is comparable to Huato. You are young. You claim to be able to bring the dead back to life? It's sheer hubris. Doctor, he's just a stinking migrant worker carrying bricks. You don't have to be like him. Nothing. The younger generation is not ashamed. Today, I would let you know. Tea and men point under the needle. Chi and blood flush the needle. The gold needle must be misplaced. The elderly is gonna vomit up three liters of blood. You're a stinking migrant worker. What the hell are you talking about? Brat. Do you teach me how to needle? Shut up. If you say one more word, I'll throw you out. The Master Gu is a famous doctor in Guangdong. I tried so hard, I didn't even invite him. Don't talk nonsense. You can't even see a gold needle going out of alignment. You dare call yourself a miracle doctor? Lady Yang, now that you have hired a superior, what I have doesn't show you. I'll take my leave. Tin Feng, you apologize to the Master Gu immediately. Tin Feng, apologize quickly. He's a quack, and he deserves my apology? He's the one who should apologize. Scoundrel! Get out! 
All right, I'll go. I hope you don't ask me to come back. You're a smelly migrant worker carrying bricks. If I beg you, I call you Dad. Keep your word. I'm sorry, Master Gu. Could you please return to cure the elderly? How can this be? Master Gu, what's going on here? Master Gu, how's my grandfather? Chi and blood flush the needle. The gold needle must be misplaced. The elderly is about to vomit three liters of blood. Foretell. Miraculous doctor. Quick, get that little miracle doctor back here. Master Gu, you mean the miracle doctor? Who else could it be? He's the one who just called Master Gu a quack. Junior miracle doctor. Hurry! All right! What happened? Suli? Tinfeng, I have something to ask you. I owe a couple hundred thousand. Now the creditors are going to come. I wonder if you could lend me some money. How much? Not much. Two hundred thousand. I have to deal with emergencies first. Tinfeng, Tinfeng, you should go see Grandpa. Grandpa's vomiting blood and he's dying. Rushwe, you're not the one who should be asking me for. It's them. Junior Miracle Doctor, I'm the one who is as blind as a bat. What I have done is offensive. Now the gold needle is misplaced. The elderly's life hangs in the balance. And only you, the little Miracle Doctor, can cure him. Otherwise, my golden signboard will be destroyed today. I can save him if you want. What did she just say? Call me Dad when you invite me back? You stinking migrant worker. We can go out to beg you. I've given you enough credit. Don't be ashamed of yourself. Well... I don't force you. You said it yourself. Hurry up. We don't have much time. One word will save your grandfather. You've done your duty. Stinking brick man, it's just a case of running into a dead rat. You guessed correctly. The master's golden needle is misplaced. And you want me to call you dad? You delusional. Shut up, Anna. Do you want to watch grandfather die? Get on your knees and apologize to your brother-in-law. Get down on your knees! Sorry, brother-in-law. It's my fault. Please help my grandfather. That's more like it. Because of calling me brother-in-law, I say them. Remember, don't look down on my good workers. Granddad, you're awake. Okay, it's all right. I cut out all the old and the new wound. Make sure the elderly lives a dozen more years. It's amazing. This is to vaporize the needle. What the little miracle worker just did may be the legend of the universe without shadow. I can come back from the brink of death. It's because of the little miracle doctor's ability. Great kindness. Is hot creepy. This is a young son-in-law. Sure, the young family can have a son-in-law like this. It's a blessing to the young family. One day you'll get married. Grandma's gonna do something special. <laughs> One day you'll get married. Grandma's gonna do something special. <laughs> Please, little miracle doctor, take me as a disciple. Teach me the shadowless. An apprentice is willing to do everything. Ah, get up, get up. The shadowless stitch focuses in the transfer gasification into form. You're not qualified. It's no use learning more. Uh, I guess I'm the one who doesn't get luck. If we are destined to meet again in the future, I am sure to visit, sir. Tinfeng, don't take my grandmother's word for it. I asked for a son because my grandfather was seriously ill. I hope when Grandpa is alive, he can hold a great-grandson. Even though you say my grandfather, we're still married by agreement. You cannot have inordinate ambitions from me. Oh, I understand. I'm in it for the money. 
Darling, you see, I saved Grandpa's life. I am wondering if we could discuss something. Say it. I'd like an advance on the remaining 250000 Where's the 250000 I gave you? Uh, I broke up with my ex-girlfriend. I gave her as a breakup fee. Sure enough, men go bad when they have money. You want the rest of the money. Wait till the contract's done in a year. Huh? That's not very kind of you. Elder sister? Rumong! Rumong! Rumong, why are you back? Aren't you abroad? I heard Grandpa was seriously ill. I flew back all night. How's Grandpa's illness? Don't worry, Grandpa has recovered. Thanks to your brother-in-law, Tin Fong. He saved Grandpa. Elder sister, do you have been fooled by him? How does this guy look like a poor loser? Good lenses, bad frames. He has his strength. It is him. He brought Grandpa back from the jaws of death. Grandma is going to arrange our wedding herself. She asked me to marry him. Strength? He must be a poor loser when he grows up. Hey, sister, I'm going to see Grandpa first. When I come back, I'll take care of him for you. <sighs> Transfer gasification into form. I need to refine the method of breathing and spitting. No way! This is his strength? Oh! It needs much imagination. You got nothing to do. What are you doing wandering our house at night? Sister-in-law, I am practicing. You did a good job. So my sister likes you. All right, you used to work part-time on construction. I have just returned. I am totally unfamiliar with the place and the people. How about you be my bodyguard? I'll give you a hundred thousand a month. A hundred thousand? I'd have to pay two months in advance. Okay. But... From now on, you are mine. What I ask you to do... You must do. Ah. Uh, I'll try. Conclude a transaction. Suli! 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 Xinfeng, it's so late to see me. I thought you hook up with a rich woman. You just forgot about me. Impossible. I know you're desperate for the money. This is 200,000. You use it first. 200,000? Um, it is your money to sell yourself? I had no idea you could raise 200,000. You're not afraid that I lie to you? How come? Sister, I know you have to live. So you became an anchor. In this big city, you're the only friend I have. A friend is in trouble. I need to help. Good boy, I'm right about you. Hurry in. I'll give you a treat. I get a call. Hello? Brother-in-law, where have you been? I'm at the Golden Bay nightclub. You hurry up and get me. Okay, I'm coming now. Uh, Suli, I have to leave early. Tin Fong! This kid, shouldn't he be criticizing me? I will destroy you on behalf of the moon. Who are you?
are you? Who let you in here? Yo-yo! <laughs> There's no point of two girls singing. I'll sing a song with you. How's that? Let me go. Waiter, you let go. You let go. Uh, uh, Mr. Tong, misunderstand. This is Miss Young's private room. Uh, your private room is over there. I I'll take you there. Close the door. Where to run? Today, live in this private room. I will accompany you to play. Right? We three can play together. <laughs> Let go! Master! Bitch! Bitch! Wildness. You're the kind of girl I like. I don't like to force people. Go get a room with me. Would you not? You're delusional, boss. Boss, my best friend just got back from abroad. You can fuck me. Don't touch her. Overseas returnee? I like to fuck returnees. You guys are really best friends? You just said that yourself. Brothers, get her clothes off. Take turns and fuck her to death. <laughs> Little girl. <laughs> no, no, no. Boss. Boss, I beg you. You let her go. I'll do anything you want. Hold on. Well, you said it yourself. Take it off. Be quick. <laughs> Take it off quickly. No. No, Rumong. Get naked. Take off. Be quick. So slow! You force me upon you! Ah! Take it off! Hold on! Brother-in-law! Brother-in-law! Brother-in-law? Something interesting. Guy, I advise you if you're sensible, fuck off! Or... You come in standing up, but lie out. I'll give you a chance, get on your knees and apologize to my sister-in-law. Otherwise... I let you live is no better than to die. <laughs> you don't know what fear is. Brothers, beat him. How is it possible? Huh. Brat. Don't think you're awesome. I'm putting a gun to your head right now. If you don't want to die, get the fuck out of here. Leave this girl. Otherwise, I will spill your blood on the spot. Boss, boss, I beg you to spare us. I'm the second daughter of the Huada Company. If you let us go, I'll give you whatever you want. Huada Company? I'm the master of the Tong family. Compared to us, the Yang family are a piece of shit. Mr. Tong. You don't think I'm afraid you have a gun? You shoot if you can. You shoot if you can. Well, I'd like to see which is faster, you or my gun. Ten paces away, it's the gun. Within ten paces, you bring this on yourself. I 
I am the four families of Jiuju. Mr. Tong, how dare you hit me? Tong family. Mr. Tong, you dare bully my sister-in-law. Master, master, I am wrong. I, I am wrong. I shouldn't have offended your sister-in-law. Your lordship does not remember evil. You, you, you give me a break. Brother-in-law, let's just forget it. The Tong family is the head of the four great families in Zhou. We just call it a day. Well... Remember, Mr. Tong, I am the new guardian of Jiuju, Jin Feng. If the Tong family is something, you can come to me later. If you ever mess with me again, I see you one time and hit you. Get away! <laughs> Thank you for not killing me! Yo yo! Yo yo! Yo yo! Get to the hospital! Yo yo! Get to the hospital! Elder sister, both of you come over. <clears throat> it's the middle of the night. Where did you go? Uh, Ru Meng wants to go and play. Uh, I'll stay with her. Tian Feng. You're shameless! You're a son-in-law who doesn't get in the young family. You took my sister out in the middle of the night? Don't talk about brother-in-law like that. You don't even know. Brother-in-law tonight is high prestige backed up with power. Tin Feng, you get over here. Uh, the situation is that I'm going to save your sister's life. There is no much credit. Just, just give me some money. I'll give you a slap. The Tong family is powerful in Ziuzhou. Offend the Tong family, the Yang family will have no place in Ziuzhou. You mean, let your sister be ruined by that Tong Long? You... Okay. Don't tell Grandpa about this. Grandpa said it today. Let you stay at the Yang family, and he let you tomorrow morning participate in the board of directors at Huada Live Company. Uh, the, where do I sleep? We are husband and wife. In my room, of course. I'll take the bed, and you take the floor. If you get it out, I won't give you the quarter of a million. A uh, dear, why am I sleeping on the floor? Or else I'll sleep on the bed. My waist, it, it really hurts. At the board meeting today, mainly introduce you as young son-in-law. His name is Jin Feng. Starting from today, Chin Feng is the vice president of Huada Company. Uh, Grandpa, it can't. I have no virtue to be the vice president. Grandpa, Chin Feng only knows a little about medicine. He doesn't know anything about company management. If you really want to promote him, he should start at the bottom of the company. Or else, it might be hard to convince the crowd. President, Ru Shui is right. If he is capable, he can achieve something at the bottom. Dad, the place in the company can exercise people is our sales department. I propose that let son-in-law get some exercise in our sales department. Manager Hu, Chin Feng is my savior. He's the young son-in-law. We cannot let him be upset. Grandpa, just in sales department. Uh, I like selling. Ah. All right. I want you to listen. You must cultivate Chin Feng. In the future, he's the heir to our Huada company. Heir? Hey, man. Ah, have a look. Ah, if I knew grassroots work was handing out leaflets, I might as well be a vice president. Tin Fung! Isn't this Chin Feng? Oh, the construction site doesn't want you. You hand out flyers. <laughs> Yo, I'm glad I'm not with you. You look so poor. Deserve a lifetime of failure. Not like Zha. He's applied for the job now. Sales director of Huada Company. One is on the sky, another is under the underground. Sales director. If I say I just said no to be the vice president of Huada Company, do you believe it? <laughs> the Huada Company's market value is several billions. 
The vice president has a few million a year. You don't do it for multi-million dollar VP. Came out here to hand out flyers? What happened to handing out flyers? I like handing out flyers. Oh, Yishuan. This guy's brain is broken. As soon as I assume office on Monday, I let him go. In case, make our quite a company look bad. So how? Don't be so crazy. Anyhow, we're classmates. All oh, right. Note you. This evening at the Swan City Hotel, there's a class reunion. I don't know if you have the guts to join. No time. Do not go. Yishuan, what are you talking about? You have been my womb, and he is a loser handing out flyers. <laughs> if he went, he must humiliate himself. <laughs> Wang Yishuan, you're just some fucking shoes I used to wear. I left it to you. Who are you calling fucking shoes? Brother-in-law? Brother-in-law, who is she? Brother-in-law? Who is she? Ex-girlfriend. Oh, ex-girlfriend. Brother-in-law, I say you used to have a bad taste. Compared to my sister, she's qualified. And her boyfriend also looks shabby. Hey, you little bitch! Who are you calling shabby? Hey, this is Ju Z Mr. Ju is the sales director of Huada Company. This is a very big title. What kind of director is that? You're not even fit to live my brother-in-law's shoes. Bitch! What the hell are you? Come to our Huada Company. I will crush you with my fingers. Chao Zihao, right? My grandfather. Personnel department of the company has nothing to do? Hire your piece of shit. Who's your grandfather? Yang Chong, chairman of Huada Company. <laughs> chairman of Huada Company is your grandfather? Jin Feng, where did you find a little girl? She dare pretend to be the daughter of Huada Company. <laughs> girl, you really think we're stupid? The granddaughter of Huada Company is Yang Ruxie, the president. With your temperament, you're just a kept mistress. Who are you calling a mistress? At the present, it's just you. You're young, but the clothes you're wearing are worth over a hundred grand. You're a mistress, nothing else. That's a good slap. If I had known it vented my spite upon her, when you cheated on me, I should do it. You dare hit me, you son of a bitch? It's okay to hit me. <laughs> Abuse my sister-in-law? Just can't. You fucking dick! You dare hit me?! Chozaha, you're a loser! You hit him! You hit him! You don't know how capable he is! Do you want me dead? You... I thought you were retarded. I can't believe you're pretty smart. Ching Fang, I tell you, don't be complacent. When I come into the Huada Company, you will know how I get you out of here. Brother-in-law, I said you used to have a special eye. What kind of crazy ex-girlfriend and rival is this? Ah, probably I was blind. Right? What's matter? Oh. I'm having a party tonight. My sister says I can't go without you. Brother-in-law, are you free tonight? I'm not free. I haven't finished handing out flyers yet. Let you be the vice president of the company and you refuse. You have to hand out flyers here. Well, if my sister asks tonight, you say you are there with me. My sister is too strict with me right now. Stop it. Call me if you have anything. Thank you, brother-in-law. Drink. Drink. Drink and drink. <laughs> Master, that's the girl. I almost got it last time. As a result, the guy named Chin Feng got mixed up. That Chin Feng provoked the Tong family. Today, I want to see you kill him. Take the girl. So that Chin Feng would yield. Start. Uh, what are you doing? Let go of me. What are you doing? What's wrong now? Brother-in-law! Brother-in-law, come to save me! I was kidnapped by the Tang family! Warehouse 8, Lunghu Road! Bloke, I have your sister-in-law. You must be here in half an hour. Otherwise, I rape before I kill. Yo! <laughs> Your brother-in-law must be scared. He dare not come. No, he's bound to come. Don't mess around. 
or my brother-in-law won't let you go. Time is up. It seems Chin Feng is a coward. Come. Take off all your clothes. Well. Don't. Time's up. It seems Chin Feng is a coward. Come. Take off all your clothes. Well. Don't. Don't. Stay your hand. Chin Feng. Tong Long, you're itching again, aren't you? Didn't I teach you enough last time? Last time I was careless. This time, my master Hu is here. He's the first fighter in my Tong family. Look across Jiju. No one can compete with him. Today, you're going to die. Rotten fish and shrimp can call themselves masters. You kidnap a woman. It's a dirty trick. Come at me if you can. Let her go. I'll play with you to the end. Okay, Chin Feng. I respect you for being a hero. Today, in front of you, I will fuck your sister-in-law to death. You brought shame on me. Double return to you. Come. Master, kill him. You are so young. But you can practice the dark sky trace. I underestimate you. The dark sky trace is shit. When I moved bricks at the construction site, I figured it out because of avoiding potholes. Scoundrel! Cork death! You deserve it. Master! How is that possible? You are beyond the realm of martial arts. Oh, forgot to tell you. I am the guardian of Joju. All the fighters are before me, just like an ant. Stop! Dad! Dad! Go ahead and untie her! Dad! Go! Go! You are the master of the Tong family? Dad! That's the guy! You provoke our Tong family! You need to help me! Dad! Huh, you dare offend Mr. Chin. Come to apologize to Mr. Chin. Kneel down to apologize. Did you not hear what I said? Kneel down to Mr. Chin to apologize. Get on your knees and apologize. Didn't you hear me? Mr. Chin, I'm the one who's blind. Offensive. Bullying my sister-in-law. Just kneel like that. That's it? I'll let you call Mr. Chin. Is that how you invited? You can't even handle this little thing. Take the men quickly. Piss off! Mr. Chin, forgive me. I am wrong. The usual discipline is not good. This is my Tong family supreme black card. Hold this card so you can have unlimited consumption in my Tong business. On behalf of my son, apologize to you. Black card? It's the supreme black card. Master Tong asked me to come today. It's not just the black card. <laughs> Tell you honestly, Mr. Chin, I recognize and remember heroes. Mr. Chin just had a flash of genius. I really want to make friends with Mr. Chin. Come to the point. Uh, Mr. Chin really knows everything. Recently, I have been hunted by the black hands of the martial arts. Mr. Chin just now captured Tong Hu with one move. You've reached the height of your martial arts accomplishments. Tong Long wants to... Well, take your time, then. Sir. Here's my card. If you have orders in Jiuzhu, the Tong family will do everything for you. Dad, why didn't you just kill that guy? Ah, my silly son. If I hadn't been there in time... You're a corpse now. This... 
Luke? So powerful? His cultivation is far above mine. Now my Tong family is suffering. Maybe it's just he that can save us. Brother-in-law, how did you do it? The powerful chief in Ziuzhou, Tang Zhengwu, I can't believe he would give you an apology. It's so cool! Don't ask. Keep it a secret. Remember, don't let your sister know it. What? The master of the Tang family apologized to you? What's going on? You don't even know. Brother-in-law was cool today. If it weren't for my brother-in-law, I might today, by that bastard Tang Long, be bullied. Qin Feng. All right, all right. Who allow you to call your brother-in-law with intimacy? Go back to bed. Don't make any more trouble later. Thank you, brother-in-law. Qin Feng, I'm your employer. I have the right to know everything about you. Say it. What's going on? I have no other identity. I am a pretty boy kept by a rich woman. I thought you'd be honest with me. I guess we're not going to be contractual. You conduct yourself well. Dear, what do you call me to the project department in the morning? The company's finances are in dire need of funds. A boss just can give lending in time. Wait a minute, I won't let you talk. You must not interrupt. But then why did you call me here? As a vase? You'll find out soon. Beauty Young! You call me here, turn out to be a pervert. Sure. Long time no see. I miss you so much. Manager Xiao, this is my husband, Qin Feng. Qin Feng, this is Mr. Xiao of the Xiao Company. Xiao Chen. Hello. Hello. Sure. I heard you got married. I've been feeling bad for days. I thought you would marry a great man. As a result, you married a guy like that. Sure, just likes me. She was the one who chased me. Are you angry? Don't listen to him, Mr. Xiao. Today I want to... Talk about the Huada Company with you, about the 800 million loan for the Longhu project. I would also like to ask you to relax the rules. 800 million? Eh, a piece of cake. If you promise me three things, I'll send the money right away. You say? First, I want a 12 million handling fee. 800 million loan? About 788 million in your hands. Okay. Second, annual interest of 10%. Oh, I also want a 20% dividend of the project. Ah. Uh, why don't you grab it? I promise you. This is the last one. I want to invite you to stay with me for a few days. Manager Xiao, don't push your luck. Sure. I know your young company badly needed this loan. Except for the Xiao family, in the whole Jiuzhu, no one would dare lend me. Manager Xiao, I'm here for a loan, not for sale. If you want to have fun, you're in the wrong place. Sure. You think about it. What I do is for your own good. An ugly man hopes to marry a pretty girl in front of me? You ask that of my wife? What the hell are you? The whole Joju, I could crush you with my fingers! <laughs> then try it. Tianfeng, don't talk nonsense. He is the only son of the Xiao Company. Yo, is it such a coincidence? Just beat Tong Long, the only son of the Xiao Company comes. Um, uh, you rich kids like abuse. Fart. 
Mr. Tong and I learned from the same master since we were children. You dare smear, Mr. Tong. Court death! All right. That's the old guy Tong Long brought in. He's already been deactivated by me. It's been a while since you talked to your master. Talk nonsense! Huh. Bu Ye is the first fighter in Jiuzhu. You dare insult Bu Ye! Court death! What? How did that happen? Who the hell are you? You can call and ask your master. You don't deserve to know. Master, I was beaten. All right. Do you know a man named Chin Feng? Chin Feng? Apprentice. He is the new guardian of Joshu. You mustn't mess with him. It is easy for him to kill you. Guardian of Joshu. So what if you're good at fighting? Without my 800 million loan from the Xiao family, the whole Huata company would go bankrupt. It's only 800 million. Brag. Xiao er. This is the Supreme Black Card. Unlimited. Please use the money to invest. The Supreme Black Card? In the whole Joshu. Only Tong Lung has. Do you steal it? Ah, Tang Zheng Wu was willing to give it to me. Just give me. I can't help it. I just had to accept it. Vart! Well, I got it. You must grab it from Mr. Tong. Huh? I'm calling Uncle Tong right now. You're gonna die! Tim Fong! You give the card back to the Tong family. We can't afford to mess with the Tong. Hello, Uncle Tong. I need you to get over here. Now someone has stolen your black card. Right. It's in the Long Hu Project Department. Okay, I'll wait for you. Jin Fang. Uncle Tong will be right here. The Tong family is the first family in Jiuzhu. You and the Yang family wait for death with him. Wait for death with him! Xin Feng, you return the card! We can't afford to offend the Tong family! Uncle Tong! There you are at last! Oh, that's the guy! He's the one who stole your black card! He just put his hands on me! Y you must not let him go! Ah! Uncle Tom, why did you hit me? You don't know everything. The Xiao family is put up by the Tong family. How dare you offend the guardian of Joju? You're gonna die! The guardian of Joju? He really is the guardian of Joju? Mr. Chin, you're willing to use the black card? It would be an honor for the Tong family. This son of a bitch dare defend you? How to punish him? Please. Mr. Chin expresses clearly. Ah! Master Chin! Uh, Master Chin! I have eyes but failed to see Taishin Mountain and still covet Miss Young's beauty. I'm old. I I'm, I'm an asshole. A great person is large-hearted or magnanimous. Spare my life. I am as blind as a bat. Your eyes have no use. The son of a bitch has lost his eyes. Mr. Chin, for the sake of me, just let him live. Tow away. Mr. Chin. If I could just talk to you for a minute. Here, I need to talk to the Master Tong about something. You go back first. Okay, be careful. <laughs> Mr. Chin, I beg you to save the Tong family! I got something from you. Tell me, what is it? 
uh, an enemy of my youth. After I crushed him, he fled overseas. Anyhow, he learned the guidance of a warrior in Dongying. He has acquired a good martial art. Some time ago, he came to my house suddenly, killing dozens of my bodyguards. Even gave me seven days. He let me hand over all of the Tong property, or else he would exterminate my Tong family. Hu Ye is the first fighter in Jiuxu. Why do you call me? Hu Ye has fought with this guy, but he has only had a hundred moves with him. But Mr. Chin, you can subdue it with one move. Your cultivation must be above this person. Mr. Chen, I beg you to save my Tong family. I am willing to give half of the Tong's fortune as compensation. Fine. For the sake of your sincerity, when your enemy reappears, I'll deal with him. Ah, Mr. Chen is very kind. Tong family would not remember your kindness. Mr. Chen, uh, I'll be leaving now. Chen Fang. You don't have to worry about the bride price of Yishuan. Our house is going to be demolished. We'll be rich soon. Take Yishuan home sometime. Dad, I'll be right back to see you. Okay, Dad's waiting for you at home. Is the guardian of Joshu. Go home now after getting fame or money. Hey, Chiang, what have I done to offend you? You take my family's land. My son, Ching Feng, needs to lead on the demolition money to get married. Your family has been poor all your lives. You want the demolition money? There is no use. S sign the land contract. Avoid the pain of flesh and blood. I heard this morning Ching Feng's father gave you good news. At present, the ancestral house is targeted by Hei Chiang. This demolition money is gone. Don't be ridiculous. Hei Chiang's brother-in-law is a strong man in the Jiu-Jiu. Who yet? If Hei Chiang gets angry, we can get nothing. Look at this. Just beaten. This land is, is all I have left to my son. Even if you shoot me to death, I can't let you take it from me. Old thing. Old thing. Don't submit to my pressure after first turning down my request. <laughs> Chen Feng. In time, in broad daylight, you dare to grab other land. Is there no law? Law? I am the law. If you are smart enough, sign it. Or I will destroy your family. Get out of my house now. <laughs> Bloke, who are you? You dare give me orders? Oh, oh, oh! Xia Feng, you're back. You dare hit me? Uh, Xia Feng, Hei Chiang's sister married the Tong family in the city. You hit him. He won't let you go. Dad, just go inside. I'll deal with it. Jin Fang, how dare you fight him? You're in a lot of trouble here. You gotta go. Bloke, if you try to run, get ready to bury the dead of your parents. Bloke, if you try to run, get ready to bury the dead of your parents. I gave you a chance to get on your knees and apologize to me. If you don't want it, don't blame me. Wait! Where is everyone? Come to the Chin's house at the end of the village. I got beat up by that son of a bitch. Chin Feng, you have to go or they'll beat you to death. Hey, Chiang, we're all from the same village. You don't overdo it. If someone's gonna plead with this guy again, I'll kill you first. You! Boss! Come on! It is him! Beat him! Beat him to death! Chin Fang, you piece of shit! You went to college for a few years. You have ability? You dare fight Shang I'll give you a chance. Get away now. I will spare you. 
I think you've been studying too hard. You spare our lives? Don't bullshit. Hit him. Uh. What is this? It's impossible. Ah. Ah. Chin Fang. My brother-in-law, Hu Ye, is the first head of the Tong family. He won't let you go. Hu Ye, right. Call him to come here. Well. Hello. Brother-in-law, I got beaten up in the village. It is the Chin village that is being demolished now. Be quick, you get over here and avenge me. Okay. Rat. Hu Ye is the first fighter in Jiuzhu. He's still the head of the Tong family. Crush you to death. It's like crushing an ant. If you know, Tong Zhen Wu is my people. Do you still dare to be arrogant? What the hell are you? You are not qualified to mention the name of Wu Ye. What am I? You'll find out soon. For the relationship of the same village, I ask you to know everything. Bloke, if you are sensible, now get on your knees and apologize to me. I'll ask my brother-in-law later. Leave you a whole body. Give you a few more minutes. How dare you say that? <laughs> Chin Fang, my brother-in-law will be here later. He must chop up your whole family. Feed the pigs. Brother-in-law. Who dare beat my brother-in-law? Brother-in-law. Huh. That's it. I need you to kill him. Son of a bitch. Fucker. Brother-in-law? Why did you hit me? Shit, who's your brother-in-law? You want to die? Don't accuse me of anything. Hey, you slept with my sister. You're, you're my brother-in-law. Your sister's a bitch who sleeps with a lot of people. Who the hell am I? Oh, Chiang, you don't realize... The man you called Hu Ye is just a dog for me. Ho oh, Chiang, you don't realize the man you call Hu Ye is just a dog for me. Chifog, how dare you? How dare you slander my brother-in-law? <laughs> Shut up! I am one of Mr. Chin's dogs. Brother-in-law? You are blind as a brat. Who's your brother-in-law? If you get involved with me again, I'll chop you up and feed you to the pigs. He works for you. He just threatened to kill my whole family. Uh, Mr. Chin, I, I don't know him well. Even if you lend me with strong power, I wouldn't dare touch you or your family. What is the situation? Hu Ye kneels to this boy. Don't you see? He is not an extraordinary man. Then you tell me, this one beats up my dad and threatens to kill my family? How to deal with him? Death by a thousand cuts is not much. Hu Ye kills his relatives. In this case, do as you say. Hu Ye kills his relatives. In this case, do as you say. Mr. Chin, you can rest assured, I'm sure you'll be satisfied. Come, drag him out, chop him up, and feed it to the dog. Ah, brother-in-law, brother-in-law! Chin Feng, Chin Feng, you and I grew up together. You can't forget me. Chin Feng, even Hu Ye is on his knees. You're amazing. Xiao Feng, do you have a girlfriend? My sister just graduated from the college. She's so pretty. Sister-in-law can introduce you. Don't forget about us. Mr. Chin, it's done. Please have a look. Ah! Xiao Feng, are you okay? What's in the box? Don't scare my dad. Uh, take the head away. Mr. Chin, you see, about the demolition thing, can you not let Wu Ye know it? Don't worry, Tang Jie Wu won't know it. Go. Bye-bye. Uh, Xiao Feng, that guy was Hu Ye? Hey, why is he so afraid of you? Dad. For a while, I don't know how to explain. I'll explain later. 
All right, Xiaofang, why are you back alone? Where's Yixuan? Dad, I broke up with Yixuan. What's going on? Our house is about to be demolished. A quarter million dowry? It's almost enough. It's hard to say. She looks down on the place. Xiaofang. Dad has no ability. You've been wronged. I'll try my best to make sure you take a wife. He's already married. You don't know now. What are you doing here? Our story's out. You have to come with me to the Young family. Huh? Who are you? Shh. Dad, I'm your future daughter-in-law. My name is Yang Ruxue. What? Daughter-in-law? Xiaofeng, such a big deal. Why don't you talk to me? Dad, it's not what she says. Ah, uh, it's Xiaofeng that is very busy with work. I haven't had a chance to tell you. <laughs> Serious situation. Go with mine first. Serious situation. Go with mine first. Dad, you go to the room and rest. I'll explain it to you later. We're fake. You go public with my dad like that? Half a year later, uh, how can I explain it? Someone knows you're a fake. In order to save the CEO position, we have to make it real. Real? Uh, I'm still a virgin. I, I would be at a loss. Get away. What were you thinking? I mean, we have to obtain marriage license. Divorce in six months. Obtain a marriage license? Uh, I cannot. Then how do I explain it to my dad? Say it. How would you agree to obtain marriage license? Uh, the money I got you earlier, it's to be your boyfriend. The license? Uh, <laughs> have to add money. Tin Fong, I am this time, I really don't know. Are you playing poor with me? 800 million. You can get 800 million. You really care about the little money I have. Hey, hey, hey. Look at my house. Am I not short of money? Okay. On the basis of half a million, I'll give you another million. Then get the license. <laughs> Getting the certificate is good. Xianzhuan, really Ruxue, he was hired getting money by Ruxue for having a child? Mom, everyone knows, according to our young family motto, if a woman wants to inherit the family business, she has to have a baby. Such a big deal. I don't dare talk irresponsibly. Grandma, my cousin is some behavior. Deceiving the people is the least. To put it mildly, you're a financial fraud. You want to get the Huada company with a lie. No, 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 no. It's not true. Rumor. This is definitely a rumor. Grandma, I have proof of that. What evidence? This. My sister, who spent a large amount of money of hiring a man for having her child. And this. It's found in the office. The evidence is certain, Grandma. Mom, you and Dad think highly of her. You see, in order to get the Huada company, she plays hard. This thing of hiring a man for having a child, she can even do it. Grandma, you say how to deal with it. Ask Grandpa to come. I want him to see. His wonderful granddaughter is what? Darling, we're about to get a certificate. Do we need to do what couples do? I advise you not to get your hands on me, or else. It's a bug. Tiffel. Darling, it's a real bug. Get off. Uh, okay. Hello, Ching Fung, right? We have your concubine. If you want to save her, come to the abandoned building of South Town. Ching Fung, save me. Uh, Su Li, don't worry. I'm coming to save you. You have one hour. If I don't see a million, just wait to pick up the body. <laughs> Hello? That's a bug. That's a bug. I guess I was wrong about him. 
How can people disappear in the blink of an eye? Boss, I hear her hooker is a brick worker at a construction site. A million dollars is a lot of money. She can take out that much money. Simpleton, is it money we want? I want him. The superiors say if we get the man alive, we can get the money as we want. <laughs> Boss, I don't know who we are up here. He can take out that money for us? Don't ask many questions. You think... Uh, okay, boss. <laughs> Check. Half an hour is up. It looks like your bimbo doesn't care much about you. Ting Feng is just a brick worker at the construction site. Who are you? Threaten him with me. Who we are doesn't matter. It is important that if your concubine dare not come, you'll not be valuable. I rape and then kill you! <laughs> Boss, I have no quarrel with you. You guys leave me alone. <laughs> Boss, I see she's pretty good looking. It would be a shame to kill her. Or else, let's get brothers play first, huh? Scoundrel! You're out of your mind! Huh? Women would influence the speed at which we speed. Especially a woman like this. You can't hold her. Let me go first. <laughs> Boss! You are not afraid of the speed of the fight? Have a specialization. I go first, you after. <laughs> Boss! Or else, uh, I think I should go first. Old rules. Rock, paper, scissors. Uh, okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I first. <laughs> Boss, I'm the anchor. I have some money. If you want money, I'll give it all to you. You, give me a break. There are rules. Don't take your fucking money. Insulting our profession. Uh, uh, boss. Um, we just want money. She gives or employers give money? W what difference does it make? Would you stop talking? Turn your face and close your eyes. Don't interfere with my performance. Girl, I just said that rape and then kill you. I can't break my word, huh? Come on! Don't! Don't! Boss! Ah! Ah, my knife! A boss, a woman truly influences the speed of the knife. You're a man or a ghost. How did you get in here? I am Chin Fung. Two of you told me to come here. Chin Fung? Say it, who put you up to this? I can consider leaving you all dead. Um, uh, uh, kidnapper ethics. Uh, cannot reveal the employer's information. Well, okay. You don't tell me? Uh, boss, I say, I say. Okay, you don't tell me? Die. Uh, boss, I say, I say. Boss, the kidnapper's professional ethics tell that we cannot reveal it. Would you stop talking? Uh, I don't know who they are. All I know is it's from the Xiao family. Just leave me alone, Xiao Ao Chen. Ah! My hand! You dare kidnap my people to threaten me. You lost an arm. Keep as a souvenir. Ah! Uh, my boss has a memorial. Well, I don't know what to remember for me. <sighs> Su Li, you're in trouble. Tian Feng, who are you messing with? You tell me about it. In the anchor circle, I know some people. See if I can find some people to deal with it. This is terrible. Nothing. I can handle it myself. I'll walk you out first. My hand! <laughs> boss! Boss! You made my boss a cripple! You haven't said what you asked me to do! Rushue, we said members of a family get together for a potluck. Uh, 
My good grandson-in-law, Chin Feng. Why doesn't he come? Grandpa, I think my cousin would probably forget to pay that stinking cost of moving bricks. He's on strike. Anna? What do you mean by that? Grandpa, um, you should ask your cousin. I think it would be more appropriate to tell you in person. If I find it out, it's embarrassing. Rushue, what does Anna mean by that? Grandpa, I... Since my cousin can't say something, then I'll do it for her. My cousin plays a dirty trick. She's capable. In order to inherit the Young Family Swada Company, she spares a lot to hire a brick man as a husband. Hey, hey Anna, what nonsense! Rushue is CEO of Huada Company. Her business ability, everyone sees it. It's impossible to lie to parents. She cannot do something against her father's precepts. Second uncle, you two, father and daughter, is here to play a two-man act? Talk nonsense! Second uncle, you two, father and daughter, is here to play a two-man act. Talk nonsense! Anna, this is a big deal. If outsiders hear this, it will affect the company. You say so. Is there any proof? Proof? Of course I have. Elder sister, this is an agreement you signed in person. You can't deny it? Huh. Rushue, I don't think you dare cheat parents and against father's precepts. You've been spying on me. The bug on my clothes you install. Elder sister, what I have done is for our family. You say, I can't just stand by and watch. Our young family property would be held a brick man in the future. Enough about that! Rushue, how do you explain this? Elder sister, don't be silent. You explain it to everyone. Doesn't work? You put Carl the Brick Man to explain to us. Rushue, tell me why you're doing this. If you want to take over the Huada Company, just tell me. Why do you hire a migrant worker to humiliate yourself? Rushue, I, I don't care if Chin Feng is hired. You let him get over here right away. Grandpa. I already called him. Telephone shutdown. Telephone shutdown, huh? I suppose he must know that things are exposed. He has run away. Call him again. In front of me. Okay. Don't call! I have arrived. Darling, sorry. I have something to do. So it's late. Stinking brick guy. You, a poor loser, is hired. You still play here, huh? Play? What do I play? The evidence is all right here. You, a poor loser, are hired. Do you still play here? Huh. Are you kidding? This is clearly the marriage agreement between young Anna and Chu Tian Cheng. Anna, you're getting a little big here. Stinking brick guy, don't talk nonsense. This is the agreement between you and young Rousseau. <laughs> Look, everybody, it was written in black and white. It's very clear. Young Anna and Li Ziming. Huh? Who is this Li Ziming? Is that you, brother in law? I, uh, I, uh, uh, I... It's impossible. How is it possible? Uh, I... Li Ziming? Anna, what is going on here? Grandpa, I didn't want to say anything. What Anna has done is for herself. A lot of money for someone to pretend to be Mr. Chu to get married. This man is Li Ziming. 
And Anna is so generous to spend money. It cost two million. Hundreds of thousands in plastic surgery alone, isn't it? You are nonsense. I am Mr. Chu. As true as the fake. How could it be a fake? If you are Mr. Chu, then who am I? If you are Mr. Chu, then who am I? God damn it! How can there be two Chu Tinchong? Mr. Chin, I am ordered by the master of the Tong family, here to set the record straight, at your command. What is going on here? Darling, I don't expect you two sisters to have such tacit understanding. Even the kind of thing that pays for a husband. <laughs> I'll come to mind. Cousin's tactics? Oh, much smarter than you. What do you mean? That Chu Tian Cheng costs much to have plastic surgery into Chu Tian Cheng. What? Anna! Do you want to explain it to Chu Tian Cheng? Which one is your husband? Absurdity! What do I need to explain it? This man must be a fake you bring. Right! How dare you! You dare impersonate me? This is a token of the firstborn son of the lawful wife in the Chu family. Everyone in Jojo knows that. You said I was a fake. You dare take out the jade of the Chu family? God, you're talking nonsense. As Mr. Chu, I I've never heard of it. What kind of jade? The jade does belong to the Chu family. I Where's the jade piece I gave you? Miss Young, I, I didn't see the jade you gave. Brother-in-law, did you study acting? Even that basic common sense, you didn't figure it out? Every child of a noble family in Xiuzhou has a token to prove their identity. This jade piece is the symbol of the Chu family. Now who's real and who's fake? It's easy to see. Anna! I can't believe you found one fake Mr. Chu to fool us! Grandpa, I know I'm wrong to impersonate Mr. Chu, but I have made contributions. I found a miracle doctor comparable to Hua Tuo, so you can recover quickly. Nonsense! It is clear that Chin Feng... It is clear that Chin Feng cured me. Grandpa, this Chin Feng is just a stinking brick guy. How could it be him to cure you? Shut up! My body, I know it! If Chin Feng weren't here, I would have died by a quack! Grandpa? Li Ziming! You're a fake! Get the fuck out of here! From now on, never set foot in our young family! Ziming! Grandpa? He is your grandson-in-law. You can't treat him like that. Hmm. Huh. You have the nerve to beg me, Anna. You did such an ugly thing. What else do you say? Dad, what Anna has done is for considering the sake of the Yang family. Although Mr. Chu is fake, it's better than Ru Shui to find a migrant worker as a live-in son-in-law. Yeah, Grandpa. What I have done is for our young family. There is absolutely no personal interest, Grandpa. Enough! The face of our young family today has lost by you all. Mr. Chu, let you see the joke. Don't worry. Today what happened, I promised Mr. Chin. It won't reveal anything. Mr. Chin, then I'm going to step aside. I am dim-sighted from old age. I can't believe you kept deceiving me. You! I'm so disappointed in you! Grandpa, I know looking for someone to impersonate Mr. Chu is my fault. But they... are fake too! Ah! Uh, uh, what do we think? Pretend to be stupid? 
Don't think I don't know my cousin hires you with a million bucks. Or my cousin, the president of the company. Why does she love you, the stinking brick guy from the construction site? I love Tianfu. Not his profession. Unlike you, just looking for someone to impersonate Mr. Chu. Oh, <laughs> okay. You don't admit it yet. Well, do you dare to get a marriage license? <laughs> dare? I already have a plan. Rushui, you two have already worked it out? Now that someone's questioning us, then might as well go with the flow. Just get the license first. Good deed, good deed, Rushui. You have to trust my vision. The Chin Feng definitely is the Yang family's handsome son-in-law. That Chin Feng can become a handsome son-in-law is good for the Yang family. Dad! You must be senile. That Chin Feng is just a stinking laborer carrying bricks at the construction site. Let him become the handsome son-in-law? The face of our young family might lose. That Chin Feng is just a stinking laborer carrying bricks at the construction site. Let him become the handsome son-in-law? The face of our young family would lose. Shut up. What about a brick man? Heroes do not ask the source. I am optimistic about Chin Feng. He will become wonderful. Besides, he has cured my terminal illness. With this kind of medical skill alone, marry Rushui to him. Not lose. But he... Shut up! I tell you, I not only want Chin Feng to marry Rushui, in the future, I'm gonna take the board of directors to him and Rushui. If one of you accuses Chin Feng, I will not forgive you. Ah! Dad! Elder female cousin, you need to think this through. Are you really going to marry this stinking migrant worker? One day in the future if you regret, it's late. In due course, you will be the one who a stinking migrant worker doesn't want. No one wants you anymore. Thank you for your concern. You should be more concerned about Chu Tianchang. Oh. It's Li Ziming. He was thrown out of the house as soon as he got married. What a pity. I hear you lost a lot of money. More than two million. Oh. You need to be careful. Well? Tin Feng. Yang Ru Xue. Today the humiliation I was subjected to. In due course, I want to give you double return. If we would get married, you have to add a million to me. Don't you forget! Feel at ease. In six months, I give you all. Yo, Chin Feng! It's a fate! I see you everywhere! You say you're so fucking lucky! All the girls around you, one by one. You say, if you're being kept? <laughs> I didn't have time to deal with you. Buy you to run into the muzzle. You tell me you are a bitch? You are glad to not talk to you anymore? I'm pissed off, don't you? <laughs> Pretty girl, you look good. If you want to have a kept man, you at least get a good one. You know what he do before? You know what he did do before? He was a migrant worker on the construction site. He is handing out flyers on the street right now. But you treat him like a piece of treasure. <laughs> Who are you? What are your qualifications to look down upon Ting Feng? Qualification? I am... The sales director of a public company. Huada Company. You've heard of it? You said you were the one of the Huada Company? Yes. I am exactly in the Huada Company, the new sales director. What's your name? I'm Zhu Zihao. Company sales director, is it Zhou Zihao? Yes. Fire him. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Have someone fire me? Ah, you don't have the right to fire you. Quata Company is yours? Uh, Mr. Lee, uh, hey, hey, what is it? Uh, you're fired. Huh? Hello? Uh, 
I got fired! Out of the question! Absolutely impossible! Who the hell are you? Guada Company, Yang Ru Xue. Uh, uh, Manager Yang? Uh, 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 that Jin Feng is? This is my husband. If you get down on your knees now to beg him, I can consider it. For his sake, I'll cut you a break this time. Keep you the position of sales director. Uh, Chen Fung, I, I, I beg you, don't fire me. I, I have a family now. I, I have kids to raise. For the sake of classmates, don't fire me. I heard you and Wang Yixuan are getting married. Uh, she, she's pregnant now. She's nourishing the fetus at home. Oh, I'll give you a chance. If you divorce Wang Yixuan, I'll keep you the position of sales director. How? Uh, okay, okay, okay. This bitch used to use kids blackmailing me into marrying me. Nowadays, I'll dump her. Let her taste the feeling of abandoning. How? You're such deceitful. Hey, 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 hey. Darling, since he's so obedient, uh, then don't fire him. Keep his position. No change in salary. Let him go to the company to clean the bathroom. One year probation. If he doesn't complain... We'll think about transferring him to the sales department. That's settled. Out of my way. Hey, th uh, thank you, Mr. Young. I think you have vented your anger. Can you now go on business? You? You're really getting married? How? Do you want to back out? Now, uh, I just think we have the name of husband and wife, but not as a couple. If you ever talk nonsense again, I would... Go. Just go get the license. Rushwe, where's the piece of jade I gave you? Lost long ago. Lost? You lost it? You gotta find it. It's the Black Jade Buddha. It's from you. Say, why do you send the object of evil worship to hurt Rushwe? You're not this. This piece of jade is for safety. Who are you to say I hurt Rushwe? To keep safe. Okay. Then I'll put it on you. I gave this to Rushwe to wear. I, I don't wear it. Rushwe. The trick. You know that. Rushwe. Don't listen to this hillbilly bullshit. Three years ago, it was my fault I left without saying goodbye. Uh, now I'm back. Will you marry me? I already have a husband. Huh. Bloke. I know. You're with Rushue just for the money. Here's five million. Take the money and leave Rushue. Huh. Five million. Five million. You just show off your wealth in front of me with this money, you can give me fifty billion. I'll just give you Rushue and then I'll give you another bow. Tin Feng. You can sell me with 50 billion? Darling, I know he can't get it out. Flirt with him. Bumpkin. I cannot get the money out. Can you take it out? Mr. Lin, this guy is just one a brick man depending on a woman. Let's not say 50 billion. Half a million. He can't even get it out. Young Anna. I say, how do you know exactly we're at the Civil Affairs Bureau? So you lead the way? So what if I take you? I just don't have the heart to look at my excellent cousin to marry you, this brick man. Forget it, Tin Fung. Ignore her. Let's get the license. Rushue. Do you really want to marry this loser? Please give me more. Uh, one chance. Will you marry me? Hello. You dare express your affection for my wife in front of me? Are you looking for a fight? You bumpkin! How dare you hit me? This guy is an idiot. I already hit him, and he asks me if I dare fight him? Bumpkin, you know Mr. Lin is the heir of the Lin Company, one of the four families. You dare hit Mr. Lin? You're trying to get killed, our young family. One of the four families, Mr. Tong and the Tong family. I beat them all up. Obedient. Son of the Lin family. What the hell is that? Fucking hillbilly. You really can play it cool. Tong family does the underground business. 
You dare hit Mr. Tong? His brother of his would cut you up. Believe it or not, good dogs stay out of the way. Don't delay my wife and I get a license. Rushwe! Rushwe is my woman! You don't have your license yet. Even if it's licensed, I would get her. Try it if you can. Rushwe, this time I bring a gift to make amends. This diamond ring, it's called Angel Heart. It's the hardest diamond in the world. Worth 50 million. Symbolize our love as strong as gold. Bumpkin, look at Mr. Lin spending lavishly. Look at you again. What do you have to give my cousin happiness? This diamond alone is worth 50 million? I'd say it's worth 50 bucks at the most. If there is any more that you were fooled by your low IQ, Bumpkin, this is the hardest diamond in the world. Huh? This is the hardest diamond in the world. How did it break into powder? It's impossible. Take this fake diamond to fool my wife. Do you think my wife is a fool? It's impossible. Who the hell are you? I'm Rushway's husband. Father of the child. What are you talking about? You don't want to hurry up and get rid of him? Oh. Um, yes. We already have a baby. Rushway, you're not a traditional woman? You're pregnant out of wedlock. Still pregnant with a redneck breed. Mr. Lin, do you still think want my wife? Don't stay with such a bad person together. It's not good for our kid. Go. Stop! Bastard! You dare get my woman? Court death! Court death! Tim Fung, are you crazy? You dare fight Mr. Lin? Sure. Why are you being such a bitch? It doesn't matter if you're pregnant out of wedlock. This poor guy cannot afford a decent present. I can't believe you want to marry him. I like. None of your business. I didn't give Rushway a present before. It doesn't mean I won't. You can't afford what I give. You can afford what kind of gift? Stall goods? Branded goods? Ha! This! Can you afford it? Huh? The Supreme Black Heart of the Tong family! Uh, how is that possible? The Tong family can unrestrict consumption! The Supreme Black Heart! There's only one left in Zhuzhou! How is it possible? It must be fake! This must be fake! True or false? A sensible person can tell it. Of course. Except for the blind. Darling, here you go. Tianfeng, is it really for me? Of course. I don't care if you have a false smile to me. From the first time I saw you, my heart will be yours. Tianfeng, impossible. How is that possible? This hillbilly cannot have the supreme black card. Mr. Tong and I are best friends. True or false, I'll just make a phone call to check it out. See how I expose you. Huh? The line's busy. He, he might probably be busy right now. That's because he's calling me. Hello, Tong Long. Chin brother, save my Tong family. The enemy of my family is here. Hu Ye is dead in battle. Tong Jin Wu. It looks like you don't take my words to heart. Huh? A man can be killed, but not humiliated. The Tong family business can't give it to you for nothing. Court death! Ah! 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 Get rich or die trying. You are such a miser. In this case, I'll kill all the Tong family. Then take over the Tong family property. Ah! 
What? How is it possible? <laughs> the tenth year of Dong Ying. I got it. An invulnerable body. You die. <laughs> Dad! Logo, you! Why do you come back? To save you. I want to return your gift card. A poor guy. You dare say that? This man's throat has been cut off by me. Even the gods are hard to save. The king of hell makes him die in the middle of the night. I could keep him for a hundred years. This injury is nothing. Conceit! I'll kill you first, and then settle the score with the Tong family. Just you? H how is it possible? I am the realm of His Holiness. Holiness? I kill the Holiness like killing a dog. Who the hell are you? The Guardian of Joju. The Guardian of Joju? In this world, is there really a Guardian? In this case, I give you face. Take leave. Chin brother. Help my dad! He's barely breathing! I'm here. He can't die. Dad! You're dead! You're awake! Uh, thank you, Mr. Chin. Helps us. You've done me a favor many times. And give me the black card again. Just lift a finger. Ah, I... To save you, between my beautiful wife and I, got stuck getting the license. If Mr. Chin doesn't mind... I have some daughters. They are not bad. Mr. Chin can choose one. I am willing to betroth the one to you. This old guy, his son is born so ugly. His daughters must also not be nice. Uh, uh, forget it. Uh, thank you for your kindness. I, I have a family. I can't stand it. You! Your sisters are pretty. Why didn't you tell me this before? Shin brother, my dad told you all about it. You refused. You said you cannot stand it. Hasty. Turn around. I have to explain clearly to your dad. Shin brother, on the high speed, turning around is forbidden. You say the Tang Dynasty is a beauty. You're to blame. You are ugly. I can't be your brother-in-law. Shin brother. I want to have a handsome look. In this way, I could be just like you. Hitting off with a nice look. Ah, you got a good eye. You're the first one who finds my good appearance. The elder sister brother-in-law's really too much. It's so important to get a license. He can get away. I can't blame him. The Tong family might confront with some problems. It's time to deal with it by him. Sister, brother-in-law must have run away. He might follow Tang Long again, that dude fooling around! Who's talking bad about me? It's me! What's up? Are you following Dong Long again, fooling around? What have you done sorry for my sister? I was asked to save the Tong family! Ah. You see? You dare quibble! Sister, you see? So many beautiful pictures of women. He must have just been at the club choosing a girl by the pimp. You! What are you talking about? The photos are Tang Jen Wu's daughters. What? Who does Tang Jen Wu give you so many pictures of his daughter? Um, of course, pay me back for saving his life. Tin Feng, I don't care about what Tang Jen Wu and you do outside. But don't you forget our agreement is still within the deadline. I will not tolerate any of your nonsense. Oh, uh, honey, don't worry. I cannot fool around outside. Put you on speaker. 
Uh, hello? Tinfoil, where are you? My pipe is blocked again. At your convenience, can you help me out again? Uh, Suli's sister. Uh, I'm busy right now. I'll tell you later. Sister? Sis, you heard him! What kind of plumbing? I think the woman is not a good thing. What are you talking about? She's just like Jiling, inborn. Rumong, you get out. I need to talk to your brother-in-law, speaking alone. Darling, say all in honesty. I, I really did nothing. Sorry for you. That's not what I want to ask. I want to ask who you are. Why did you get the Tang family such importance? You investigated me. I am dumped by my girlfriend, a brick man. I don't have other identifications. Since you don't want to talk, I don't ask any more questions. Your stuff return to you. Something valuable... I can't take it. Why are you angry again? It's just a plumbing. In the little garden, dig and dig. Plant small seeds, make small flowers. Families, my plumbing is clogged again. Someone please help me. Little beauty. Good physical fitness. Woke up so soon. What did you do to me? Why am I so hot? I'm a big fan of yours. I watch your studio every day. But every day, you just talk dirty with big guys. But I only am a licking dog. Why? Why? Boss, you let me go. You... Look pretty handsome at first glance. We can try. Oh, I can't wait. I'm gonna get fucked today. Stop! Huh? Tin Tinfong, save me! You! You get in the way of me! Court death! <laughs> How is that possible? Are you a man or a ghost? You're from the construction site. H how do you know? I can spare your life. Get away. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Suli. Tian. Tian Fong. I'm so hot. I'm so hot. So hot? It's yin yang acacia scattered. It needs to detoxify with cold. Sister, don't be afraid. I'm going to detoxify you. Oh, no! Blood and chi go in another direction! Set is possessed by the devil! Yin Yang Acacia scattered is severe. Even I almost got it. Luckily, I suppress the true chi in the body. Oh, Rushui made so many calls! Isn't that a breach of contract? If she finds out about this, how much I have to pay for liquidated damages? <gasps> Hello? Tin Feng, I called you many times, you didn't answer one. Grandpa is going to hold a family meeting. Get your ass back here. Okay, I'll be right there. Grandpa... My cousin is getting pregnant out of wedlock. She can even do that without regard to the face of our young family. Give the young family a bad name. I suggest immediately annul her position as CEO. Anna! What are you talking about? Cher has always been cautious. This thing about getting pregnant out of wedlock must be a rumor. Grandpa... My cousin, yesterday in public, confessed oneself. The son of the Lin family of the four families can testify it. Um, you can do it, but there's no face to admit it. There is no need to answer your question. All right, all right. It's not a big deal. Since the two of them have gotten the license, sooner or later they will have a child. 
If I can have a great grandson a few years earlier, that's a good thing. You're being a little too partial. As CEO of the Huata Company, she represents the entire company. Premarital pregnancy? The company would lose face. Now, in the morning, the company's stock has plummeted. So what? Tin Feng is helpful to the company. He took the 800 million. Or fund vacancy of the company would be known earlier. Rushui, you said the last 800 million was brought out by Qin Feng? Ah, oh, my word. I told you before. Qin Feng can be son in law of our young family. That's a blessing for the young family. Grandpa, don't listen to my cousin's statement of her own. That poor loser is impossible. Take out 800 million. What if I could come up with 800 million? Don't pretend now. Um, yesterday, you taking a fake card had me fooled. You tried to fool me today. The 800 million was indeed brought out by Tin Fong. You carry his bastard. Nature speaks for him. Huh. Unfortunately, dragonborn dragon, chickenborn chicken, mouse's son can make a hole. My cousin is a phoenix. But she got pregnant with you. A kind of soil mouse. You dare hit me? Unbridled! You haven't even become the son-in-law. In the presence of our young family face, beat up on the family? Second uncle. Young Anna has been insulting me and Ru Shui. I just teach her a lesson for you. Fart! We young family don't have to be taught by an outsider. Done. I said that last time. Chin Feng saved my life. None of you can bully him. Anna. Don't be rude to your brother-in-law. Grandpa! I can't believe you help outsider. I'm your own granddaughter! Rushui, I heard you yesterday got the license. Chin Feng ran away halfway. Is that? Yesterday, Ting Feng had something urgent to deal with. When the meeting ends today, we'll get the license again. Oh! Exigence! What's the emergency? Tell me about it. He's happy to help others going to unclog a pipe. <laughs> What's up? It was to help a woman unclog the pipe. Take a good look. Take a good look about this video of Chin Feng. It has now become the headlines on the internet. That's a real play. Also broadcast live. The son-in-law can play many tricks. This video about Chin Feng is hot in the network. Chin Feng, you did... How do you explain? This live view left it on yesterday by Su Lee. She was robbed yesterday and she was drugged with filter. I detoxify her. My true chi went another direction. The cold ran all over my body. In the end, only the body can be used to detoxify her. I detoxify her. My true chi went another direction. The cold ran all over the body. In the end, only the body can be used to detoxify her. But there was nothing happened between us. It's totally the angle of view on the air. Cut! Tin Feng. You fool around and flirt with the anchor. But you resort to sophistry. What you said, only idiots believe it. I believe. Chin Feng will never do something bad for our young family. Dad, you're too partial to him. Because of this video, the company's stock has plummeted 20 dots. If you take your own course, I will convene the general meeting of shareholders to remove the board of directors, Ru Shui's president's office. Unbridled! You want to rebel? Grandpa. Don't get mad at me. The matter is here. I don't have anything else to say. I quit the Yang family. Sorry, Rujue. I can't finish the promise to you. 
<laughs> the Yang family don't want the son-in-law. The Tong family wants him. Master Tong, a rare visitor. What are you doing here? <laughs> the day before yesterday, Mr. Chin saved my life. I promised to take my one daughter to marry Mr. Chin. But Mr. Chin, on the grounds of engagement, politely refused it. Now, Mr. Chin has no engagement. <laughs> daughter, hurry over. Let Mr. Chin have a good look. <laughs> daughter, hurry over. Let Mr. Chin have a good look. My goodness, Teng Chen Wu, this old guy comes real. Mr. Chin, I've admired you for a long time. If you don't mind, I want to serve you all my life. Go mad. Go mad. The Tang Dynasty, they are out of their minds. Tang Chen Wu, what do you mean? You come to our Yang house to rob my grandson-in-law? Ah, oh, Mr. Yang. Just now, I heard it myself. Mr. Chin and Miss Yang do not have their license yet. It. How is that a robbery? <laughs> to what? Tin Feng is my husband. I... I'm already pregnant. Do the Tong family know it? Mr. Chin? Is it true? Ah! Uh... That's it. Huh? You're not mad at me? I'll deal with you when we get back. Wipe your ass first. Mr. Todd, it's all right. You saw it. I'm gonna let down Miss Todd. Dad! It's video thing! It can't end like this! Chin Fung can't be the son-in-law! Dad! It's video thing! It can't end like this! Chin Fung can't be the son-in-law of the Young family! Scoundrel! Chin Fung can become the son-in-law of our young family. It is the pleasure of our young family. If you dare say anything again, I will bring you father and daughter out of the young family. Get away. Go. Master Tong, I made you laugh. Another day at the wedding between Chin Fung and my granddaughter? I will certainly invite you to attend. Uh, alas, it seems that my daughter doesn't have that blessing. Then I'll go first. Take leave. Let's go. Whew. A close call. My wonderful grandson-in-law almost is given to someone else. Rushui, you take Chin Feng immediately to get the license. Tomorrow, Hold a wedding. We must not let another thief have the opportunity to get Chin Feng away. Okay, Grandpa. I thought you'd take advantage of becoming the son-in-law. Unexpectedly, it turns out that you're higher than me. Who the hell are you? Why do the Tang family take you so seriously? Now that we are married, I'll tell you the truth. I am the new guardian of Jiu Zhu. Huh? The four families of Joju today was the four guards. Later, the guardian man of Joju disappeared. That made the four families bigger and stronger. Now I, the guardian of Joju, have returned. Naturally, I would take back the power of the four families. Rebuild a new order in Joju. Are you sure? The legendary guardian of Jiuzhou is at a construction site a migrant worker? And in a very strange way, you become my husband? Um, it's amazing. There is something inconceivable. I remember the last guardian of Kyushu was probably bored of fame and fortune. He went off to be a beggar in the back. I don't know will I ever become. I don't want you to be a beggar. Eh, right. The marriage agreement was stolen by Anna. How did you to change it right? in front of us. That's easy. The speed of the human eye is 0 0.2 seconds. Oh, within 0 0.2 seconds, complete the change. You wouldn't have found it. 0 0.2 seconds? Oh my god. Well, we got the license. The term of this contract is to be extended. Ah? Uh -huh. How long? All one's life.
What's wrong? Top ten fighters. It seems that my journey as Joju's guardian is just getting started. <laughs>